the ruler of this place. I wish to gaze upon him and speak with him. Sir, welcome. I am father of this bride, lord of this land. Please rest a while. Join our wedding celebration on this merry Christmas Eve, and we will speak afterwards. No, famous lord of this land, and proud father of this bride, my errand is not to impose myself, and I have no need of rest. You and your knights are the finest and the most valiant, the wisest and the worthiest of this world, proven in all occasions and knightly sports. Yes, I have marveled on this legend, journeyed long to this place, and I have arrived courteously. Now, I stand before you with but one request. <laughs> Sir, if you have come for a fight, your challenge will be met. <laughs> no, that is not my purpose. I have not come clad in armor. In truth, I see only beardless knights here. And if it were for a fight, I did come. No man here could match me. My request is for a Christmas game, as it is Yuletide, a new year, and a wedding day. There are many brave men here, no doubt, eager for a little sport. This is a celebration, and a good time to complement the festivities with manly entertainment. So I ask, in terms congenial and laudatory, who among you knights of King Arthur's Round Table would strike me one stroke for another? I will give him this great axe, which is solid enough, and I will accept the first blow, unarmed as I am. If any knight be courageous enough to play with me, let him come to me, take this weapon, which he may keep as his own, and deliver his stroke. I will stand firm. Then, should I be able, in one year and one day, I will have the chance to return the blow. Let's see who is so bold. <laughs> what? Are you not King Arthur? And these knights not of your round table known far and wide for their greatness? Can the speech of one man so easily silence and overwhelm you? Give me the axe. I will honor your request. <laughs> oh, your majesty, please excuse me. But I would like the honor of accepting his request. It is my wedding day, and it does not befit a groom or a knight of the round table to allow any man or his king to stand in for him and do what should be done by himself. You are my king, and father to my love, and so accepting this man's challenge is my duty. And if I should fail, let the court blame me, and only me. You are a praiseworthy knight indeed, Gawain. Let us make our covenant before we go further. Knight, what is your name? I am Gawain, the knight who will vanquish you, and if I do not, in twelve months' time, I will welcome your blow in just return. Swear then that you will seek me in one year and one day. I swear it. But where would I seek you? Uh, where do I find you? I've not seen you before. I need not waste words. If I continue to stand after your strike, I will tell you. I await your strike. Very well. Look, Gawain, you are charged to keep your promise. I will expect you on next year's Christmas morning. I am the Knight of the Green Chapel. Go north and inquire, and you will find me. Merry Christmas. <laughs>